<laughs> All right, good morning. Hello. <laughs> I, want to, I want to start off by uh, asking your legal permission to videotape you and show yes. you on. And we should put in a plug for your website. <laughs> oh, <laughs> you don't do Thescreamteam.com. <laughs> Because you guys do special effects makeup. It's special effects it's make makeup in uh, in Los Angeles. Hence the sculptures. And, uh, <laughs> and so go visit their website at uh, screenteam.com. That's it. Good. Now can look, go back and say show your pictures and a little introduction. Okay, you go first. You had it first. Um, I had the surgery uh, 15 months ago, and uh, I've lost today. It's 131 pounds. It's been quite a road. Um, I had, I was great. Surgery went well. I had a bump in the road at two weeks. We'll call it a bump in the road. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Dr. Rutledge is crying. Wait, I'm just going to mark this yeah, spot mark for it. editing out. <laughs> yeah, I was going to do that for you. Right. Right. I've told the story before. Um, I woke up one morning, two weeks to the day. I was already home and um, started throwing up and throwing up and throwing up, and every day it got worse, and worse, and worse. I was throwing up probably 15 times a day. Okay. Nothing um, to throw up. I couldn't eat anything but water, and so I had to go in fluids, IV fluids. I was, you know, losing salt, and there was all this problem. So it was about three, was it three weeks to a month right out? I came back to, the day before Christmas, I came back here, and I like, change it, take the surgery away. I have to stop throwing up. I don't know what's wrong, but I thought it was the surgery. Well, come to find out, we, Dr. Rutledge sat me down in the emergency room and, and uh, put me on the banana bag and, you know, all the, you know, made, I started feeling a little better, I, um, but I still felt nauseous and, and it was great because he sat down and it took two hours and said, we're going to need to find out why you're different than the average pa patient. I don't have people throwing up for, th you know, 12, 10 weeks. Um, well, we just keep them off the internet. Well, that's true. <laughs> that's true. I just never heard of one. Right, this is I was the only one I've ever heard of. Um, so uh, he spoke to me, <coughs> and we finally figured out that I w had gone through menopause 10 years early. And I, when he, he said go off all the meds, I went off all my hormones. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> Duh. <laughs> Didn't know that. Wasn't supposed to do that. And... Um, so he put a bunch of patches on me, and uh, I think it was a steroid shot. We gave her Decadron and, and a bunch um, of other kind of I felt that it was the first four-hour period in ten weeks that I wasn't sick. I went, I can drive home. Cool, you know. Um, and every day it got a little better. I wore yeah, my patches. That was the time when we were ready to operate. Oh, yeah, I you actually put a crew together. Get a crew together, rather, ready to reverse the surgery. Yeah, we walked I was down, done. I talked to her, I said, all right, we're taking this out. I'm done. I yeah. said, I don't know why, whatever it is, we're taking it out. And I went down, they said, yeah, we can do it. And I said, let's sit and talk, And because I said, they're ready. As soon as I it. felt that much better, I said, oh, well, let's just wait overnight. Maybe I'll wait and see what happens. And I felt so much better within a couple hours. I went, I'm going to wait. I'll talk to you in a week. I'll come back in a week. And um, <laughs> I just felt better and better and better. Within two weeks, I was almost to normal. Um, Meanwhile, at the same time, her husband kept saying, "When can I have my surgery?" He was ready. He was already even signed with, up. Even with me, I was ready to punch him. <laughs> what? She was dirty. Right right from your family. Thank you. <laughs> yeah. He was like, "I'm not he, operating on a ramp right now." <laughs> he, he wouldn't do mine at all until, until I was she was better, completely is, happy and done and better and everything. Which is that was smart. Good. Yeah. <laughs> so we we delayed his for a while, <laughs> but uh, but as soon as I the hormones kicked in, I'm, I was good. And now knowing how different my life is at 130 pounds lost. If someone were to say you'd have to go through 10 to 12 weeks of vomiting and still get this result, I'd still do it. Oh, and that's, yeah. I mean, that's a lot to say. Like, yeah, she was like really sick. She was like one of those sad little puppies. But, no, baby, he, he walked in and he said, well, your, your stomach, your insides all look great. I burst into tears. He's like, no, you're great. I'm like, I'm still sick. Make me better. Because yeah, we had x-rays and everything looked yeah. kind of okay. There wasn't any twists or kinks or infection. Or so really, it really wasn't the surgery. It was prob well, probably the hormones. We also went... If we